Yes, I had a great night, thank you. Alright, so... Yeah, I kind of had a pretty bad night's sleep, but um, fortunately we had enough sleep yesterday morning to make up for both days. Uh, it's so weird when trucks are getting that close to you. I did sleep the other side, but I woke up about an hour ago and my back was absolutely killing. So I tried putting over this side because it, it was at a bit of an angle. But um, it hasn't helped much. So I've been up for about an hour and a half tossing and turning. It's half past seven now at least, so at least we did get a bit of a line. And um, we're going to go down into Barry to unload now. We stayed on the A4232 just off junction 33 of the M4 I believe. And um, we had lots of company. Get our checks all done out the way. It's a bit, it's a bit difficult when you've got the road so close here. But um, never mind, we'll get cracking. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I suggest you go and see because we had a pretty eventful trip down here, mainly due to the load being breaking for the want of a better word. To be fair, to be honest, I know it was the loader's fault for doing it, but if I'd have realised, I should have realised that that one was there, but there's only a small bit of weight on it, and I thought it would have been fine, but it looks like the top pack on there, well, you can't quite see it, so I'm not tall enough, the top pack on there seems to be touching it, so when I've pulled it down, it's pulled that pack down as well as this one. So, anyway. Let's finish off my checks. So I'll do my tyres, my lights and everything. And then we'll get into Barry, shall we? Right. Everything is done and checked. Looking all good. I don't know why it's so dark. I noticed the camera yesterday inside was really dark. Um, I don't know. Never mind. It is 9.7 miles till we get to our destination. So I'll see how long this clip is and I might edit it down, but I'll record all the journey anyway. I'll probably just pick up a pick up a few things along the way. But this layboy is on a bit of a bend, so if people do see you coming out, they won't see you till slightly late. Put my uh, heated mirrors on. Try and get rid of some of the moisture on this one. Definitely had to cut a bit down there. See how cinder is this fine morning. I don't know why, but she just sounds a little bit quieter lately. I don't know if it's me, maybe my ears have popped. <laughs> point overtaking all these as they side and shuffle. Ah, oh, Russ. Russell said there was only one lay-by here. There's another one. <laughs> and it's got horses by it. Ah. Oh. And it's further away from the carriageway, so that would have been a better night there. Wait till I see him again.
right we're through that roundabout after about 10 minutes waiting now we take this road down into Barry. I've never been in Barry at this time of morning So mature. Oh, you're going to cut that guy up, are you? No, nope. okay, okay. okay. You're nearly going to drive through his boot trying to get out before me, though, aren't you? All right, well, oh gosh. I think we're coming into the city itself now. Another roundabout. Saw me going right. Unfortunately, this lorry is as well, so let's put an end to that. You're coming out now. Sort yourselves out. Sort yourselves out. Come on. You're going left. Don't bother indicating. a thought they're uh, they're trying to make lorries stop overtaking each other at certain points on motorways there's one on the A34 that you'll have seen plenty of times and I believe there's one on the M11 but I don't go that way very often they say oh, it takes so much time out of the economy by holding all these drivers up on their way to do something. Now, irregardless of the fact that other lorries that are held up behind the slower lorries are also being held up and damaging the economy, how much of our economy time is lost due to people having to wait for people that haven't indicated? Because I reckon on a national scale, it would be quite some figure like on one person scale, probably wouldn't be that much. You know, about a minute a week for someone who does as much as driving as me. But if you added it up, if everyone who has to sit waiting them extra couple of seconds at and roundabout, <coughs> or who has to wait for someone who's blocked a junction. I wonder how much of the economy would uh, be tarnished. Right, North Haven. That's North Haven there. Where's South Haven? I'm going to keep going. There's another sign still for more housing development. That one looks all complete. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a up there, so I don't quite think that's the entrance. Although this is the this this looks like the site now. We're doing good. <laughs> All right. Well, I just came down here to find a builder because it looked like it's the other side of this Asda. And there's no signs as to where to enter the site, so I've seen a worker was walking this way, so I've turned up here and it turns out that it's not the way either, but he's told me which way to go. Should have came in at those last set of lights back there, not the ones for the Taylor Wimpy site, the ones back here. 
Let's see if it's signed from this side of the road because I definitely didn't see a sign to the side last time. Said it's round the back of the Asda. It was the one I, yeah. They've got the Taylor Wimpy signs at the front. But even though, yeah, I'm gonna stand my ground here, it still doesn't say construction traffic this way, apart from that tiny little sign there, which is impossible to see straight away. So I'm going to stand my ground. Right, let's go get tipped. Woohoo! And this is what you call organisation, look. It's all in a separate, massive, fenced off bit. Nice, big, open space. Just what the doctor ordered after this terrible load. Right, come on. Let's get all this crap off. The guys just told me that uh, apparently these front six on the bottom are for that first site we drove past. Uh, I don't know whether it will be in the video or not. So I've got quite a lot of uh, footage that I wanted to put in about the trip to this site. So whether it's in or not, I'm not sure. But there's another site over the other side. So anyway. It looks like the rain is going to get a bit worse, so I might have to put you back in the cab, I think. Um, going to get these bad boys off. And then see what we got to do. How you doing, mate? You right? Oh, dear. Right. He's just getting the last ones off now. Um, I found these lovely waterproofy gloves that I've been using and they was tucked away at the bottom of my box on the back of the cab and um, after using them for about 20 minutes I now know why they was tucked up in my box at the back of the cab. They will be going in the bin once I've finished with them shortly because they absolutely stink. and I. I don't know what it is, it's not my sweat, I tell you. It absolutely stinks, I tell you. It's like someone's had them down their pants for four weeks. Oh. Anyway, we're nearly tipped now, then we've got to go over to the other side to put six of these panels there that they need. And um, then we'll be going on our way somewhere else. I'm not quite sure where. Let's go and help him with them rolls. Well, we're at the second delivery point now. Uh, right by that quayside that I was telling you about earlier. There's two gorgeous big black birds on those two buoys in the water. Not 100% what they are. This guy on the left keeps opening his wings and flapping them around. And I don't know whether he's doing that to attract the attention of the other bird, but no idea. There's another plane there coming in, coming into Cardiff perhaps. Uh, if I've got my bearings right, he might be doing a loop and then coming down. But yes, lovely little peaceful area. Apart from the digger and excavator over the back and the rock crusher, but. Never mind. It's nice to capture this view of the hillside before they put even more houses on there, which is what I'm sure they're going to be doing very shortly. Anyway, I'm going to put you on charge because I've done all that talking and all that recording earlier. I didn't have you plugged in, so let's get you charged up, eh? And into Newport for a coil. 
All right, well, it's the first time for everything. We are just going back through, back around the Weybridge, and we're loading on the quayside here. So we haven't got to go all around the other side of the uh, docks today. It was confusing me a bit because <laughs> she was telling me where it was, and I've never been there to load, so it just totally threw me. And um, I made myself look like a right donut because I didn't quite understand what she'd meant because I've never had to load down here before. I'm just waiting for this guy to pull out. Right, so to the left of me we've got a, a ship called Foco Yukina. And then this one that I couldn't see the name is called Christel by the looks. K R I S T E L. And we've got a load right up at the end dock here, so hopefully I can just get up and reverse in, I guess. Alright, it's not a t not too big a size coil but it looks bigger than it weighs it's just 20 ton this one big enough you won't want it dropping on your toes anyway so uh, let's watch Cinderella take the strain shall we So, just a quick nip and tuck, and it looks like the uh, Foco Yukina is leaving port. Just the same time we are. So we're going to see how this car gets on. We're going to be taking it off today. If anything, there may be. One more strap I need to stop and put on, but we'll see how things are. I think I've got it pinched enough, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. So we're going to go loop back around, jump back on the way bridge, and it's a nice quick transition at Newport Docks. Lovely. Why is there always someone that has to mess around on the way out of Newport? There's always at least one person like that that causes a pain. Anyway, we are on our way out now. It is 88 miles up to Hale Owen. Alright bro, I'm going to have to go now because I'm nearly at the drop. Alright. Thanks for phoning me though, yeah. Yeah man. I'm probably going to do a... Um, a road trip again if you want to come with me before you go back to school. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure when it'll be. So, let's see what I do. See what I have to do once I've tipped here. If I go home, I'll come and get you tomorrow. Or um, yeah. if not, we'll just do it some other time. But all right. Yeah. Speak to you in a bit, buddy. Speak to you in a bit. Ta-ra, ta-ra. Okay, well, they're going on break at two o'clock, so they said if I hurry up, it's quarter two now. So if I'm quick to get all my gear off and get in there, we'll uh, get it off before they all disappear on break. So let's get going. Right, we're empty now, and uh, thankfully the guy was in a good mood and he tipped me before break, just as he gave me his paperwork back signed and everything the klaxon went for dinner so thank you very much for that one and at the moment we are just heading back to the yard for now uh, I don't know whether there's a load there for me to take out or whether that'll be it if that is it for me to do today I shall be making the most of this early finish by giving Cinderella a nice clean behind the ears because all these times I've been trying to get to use the 
wash. I ain't been having chance. I got back a decent time on Friday, but they was doing an inspection on mine, so Cinderella's needs a wash. As much as I clean her with my own cleaner during the week, she still needs a good old jet wash to get down in the chassis because don't forget we got trucking live in a couple of weeks time so I'm kind of nervous to be honest because I'm I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna end up being a laughing stock but you know I'll do the best as I can oh we're coming back down the Birmingham New Road now still don't know if this is gonna be it Will we be as happy as Barry today? <laughs> oh, happy as Barry. Oh, I can feel the tension. I can feel the tension. It's only three o'clock now. We're getting back to the yard. Ooh. All right, guys. We are dieseled up, trailer dropped, and about to park ourselves up. It is it for today. Happy as Barry, I am. So nice early finish. Um, not gonna clean her up. Uh, next week, our cinders is a bit poolish. We're going into the garage with her. So I will be in a different lorry next week. Hopefully, it will be Neil's beautiful top line, the same as this. It's actually Cinderella's sister truck that they bought both at the same time. Alternatively, I don't know what it might be. It might be one of the old High Lines. No idea. Either way, it'll be a exciting change. While Cinderella's is in the garage, um, I forget what they said she's got to have done. Something to do with the engine that's going to take a couple of days. So, yes. That is gonna be it for today. It, the only thing that's a bit worrying is it's one week I can't clean it all together. So, I don't know. I might see if they can give it a valet while they're doing the service on her. <laughs> but um, yes, it's been a lot better day today compared to yesterday. Things have gone swimmingly. So, um, just going to get a put in the compound now and I shall catch you tomorrow. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.